And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today, because we're going to be starting with programming, we're, I'm going to tell you about the different types of languages you can use. Because we have the GD script, C sharp, C++, and, and the design language. And I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each, and I'm going to mainly be focusing on GD script. Let's get started. So in Godot 3.0, there was finally added more to it, because at the beginning it was just GD script, nothing else. But now you can have up to four supported, officially supported languages, which you can choose from. And if you want to add another language, you can probably find some form of it somewhere. So here are some of the benefits and down upsides and downsides of this. So pros and cons. So let's start with GD script. The, the script that's basically built in Godot is built into it. So this one has quite a few pros. So it's the main language of Godot. So it is the best supported uh, theoretically by Godot. So it is simple, elegant, and designed to be familiar for users of languages such as Lua, Python, and Squirrel. Basically, it just looks like Python. That's what they're saying here. It has vector types built in, which can be really useful, making it efficient for heavy use of linear algebra. It supports multiple threads very efficiently. It uses no garbage collector. I wonder myself, what is a garbage collector? Let's go search that up. In computer science, garbage collection GC is a form of automatic memory management. The garbage collector or just collector attempts to reclaim garbage or memory occupied by objects that are no longer in use by the program. It is dynamic, its dynamic nature makes it easy to optimize sections of code in C++ by GD Native if more performance is required, all without recompiling the engine. So basically, you can switch between uh, what's this called? GD script and GD native. You can basically switch between those two depending if you need ease of coding or speed. Visual script. Now this one is best for people who don't know how to code and someone who's not really in the mood for programming or who wants to make it easy to read for everyone else. So here they say it's a great tool for non-programmers because basically it's drag and drop. Or even for experienced developers who want to make parts of the code more accessible to others, like game designers or artists, because it's easier to read and stuff like that. Because it's not really code, it's more like you visualize it. That's what's called visual script. So yeah. Then you have your .NET slash C sharp. It's great for performance and ease of use. Like with Python, it's ease of use but in trade-off performance. So it's slow but it's easy to use. C sharp is easy to use and pretty fast. And also if you want to use C sharp in Godot you have to download the mono version. Then you have GD native or C++. Then any C++ version can be used. So this one is the best choice for performance. If you need raw performance, if you need the program to be super fast at that moment. And GD script is just really not getting you that top performance you need, you can go for GD native and that will or C++ and that will just improve the performance and it doesn't need to be used for the entire game though. As I said before, you can mix this with GD script and it seems visual script as well. Okay, so now we are going to start actually scripting a few things but for now we can chill. See you all in the next video. I hope you all enjoyed and can at least decide which language you want to work on. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.